Bogwan Massive, I'm FC Bar. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I share with you what I do to live naturally on a budget. Today I will be making aloe vera soap and I will be showing you how I add titanium dioxide to my soap. Now I won't be adding titanium dioxide to all of the butter, just a portion. What I did was to add a quarter teaspoon of titanium dioxide to two ounces of oil and I mixed that in. Next, I melt down the aloe vera because I did freeze that before. So I melt down the aloe vera with the lye and I just slowly add that. So the mixture actually has some sediments in it but not to worry, all of that will be taken care of in the saponification process. So I slowly add the lime mixture to the oil. I'm using shea butter, moringa oil, olive oil and coconut oil. And next I just mix up everything using my stick blender until that comes to a trace. Now I'll be going ahead to separate a portion of this mixture so that I can add the titanium dioxide. So the titanium dioxide is actually going to lighten the mixture and that should just make a beautiful combination of natural colors. Next, I'm adding some Moringa powder to the rest of the batter. I didn't want to use commercial colors and so the Moringa powder will just be a natural addition. Next, I pour the batter. Well, this batter is a bit clumpy, but it will work. I guess what actually happened uh, in this mixture is that the shea butter that I use, it's actually scented and I don't know if the fragrance in the shea butter actually caused the process to actually speed up and to cause the butter to get thick really quickly. I think that could be one of the challenges I had with this batter. So you can see the difference between the first portion that I poured in and the portion with the titanium dioxide. Yeah, so the butter kind of messy, but no worries. So I'm just shaking everything down into the bottom of the pan to avoid any air pockets. Now, aloe vera has a lot of benefits for the skin. It does help with healing. And so I've always wanted to do this soap. Now you can see what the soap actually looks like. The contrast is very beautiful. That's my opinion. It is very beautiful to me. And I just go in with my serrated edge cutter and I cut. So this is actually the following morning. I am cutting the soap. It's pretty hard. I think I like how this soap came out. Um, and then I'm going to leave it for the next four to six weeks maybe to actually cure. I think this is really a beautiful combination. 
the natural color from the moringa and then the titanium dioxide now that's all for this video please if you liked what i just shared give this video a thumbs up and if you have not already subscribed to my channel go ahead and subscribe i will be dropping more videos like these that will show you how you too can make your own soaps it's not hard at all see you in the next video thank you